Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. Today I'm gonna do another multi-palette bingo, this time with my Likely Makeup blush palettes. These blushes are formulated to also be safe for use on the eyes, and I've used them as eyeshadows many times, and I've used them as blush many, many, many times. In my video where I played with the fairy blush all over my eyes and face, I mentioned doing a palette bingo with those two, and you guys seem to really like that idea. So that's what I wanna do today. I don't really know what's gonna happen. There are so many different colors in here. This is the fairy blush, very ethereal, fairy-like tones, and this one is the clown blush more bright, circusy-esque type tones. I don't know if that makes sense. I think I'm only saying circusy because it's a clown. Like if I would have seen these colors without it being called the clown blush, I wouldn't have said circusy. Whatever. <laughs> I am just going to draw, I think, five shades total from the two palettes put together. And four I'm gonna use on the eyes and one I'm gonna use on my cheeks. And I will just decide which one I want to be my cheek color after I have drawn the numbers. I was gonna do it totally, totally random, like forcing like my cheek color by just drawing one and making that my cheek color without knowing, but I do have to work today and I'm not about to show up to work with like this one, for instance, that one I would draw the line. So yeah, we are going to randomly generate on Google some numbers and we will see what happens. So I just have my generator one through eight and I'm going to be doing the numbers like this, if I can get the palettes to lay together. So it'll be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's what I'm going with. So I'm going to draw five of them. I'm gonna start with the first three. Six, five, four. I forgot to show you, but it was six, five, four, I swear. Six is Sunstone from the Fairy Blush. I love this shade. That one will probably be my blush shade because I adore it. Um, number five is going to be Aqua Marine, the one that I was scared of ending up as my <laughs> blush shade. And number four is Carousel from the Clown Blush Palette. Cute pink. Ooh, I'm excited so far. Let's see what the next two shades are. I will actually show you this time. We got three and we got four again, so we got three and eight. Okay. Number three is Circus from the Clown Blush, that beautiful red. And number eight is Amethyst from the Fairy Blush, that cute, cute purple. So this is what they look like. They don't swatch perfect because they are a blush. Blushes don't always swatch the best. But this is our color story. I think it's really cute. I stand by what I said. I'm going to use this one as my blush shade. It's just the most perfect blush for me. And especially out of these choices, that one is just hands down my blush shade. But I'm going to create a look with these four. I don't know what it's going to be, but I think it's going to go really well. I'm excited. Uh, I guess let's work on our blush really quick. I'm going to dip into Sunstone with this angled brush. It's a Morphe E4. I don't have a special attachment to this brush or anything. It's just I like an angled blush brush, and this one is it. Mm, this color is so pretty. It literally might be my favorite blush in my collection right now. For real. Oh, it's just so cute. Can't get enough of it. What do you guys think of Likely Makeup? Have you tried her brand? Do you watch Jordy on YouTube? I know she doesn't post as much anymore, but I still follow her on everything. She's like one of my favorite creators. She's just so inspiring. She's so unique. I adore her. I know this is looking like a lot, but it's fine. <laughs> I like a lot of blush. I'm going to pop some on the tip of my nose because I love a blushed nose. It cracks me up that it makes some people just like angry about nose blush. <laughs> I've literally seen people complain about it. Like it's not that deep. Don't put it on your face if you don't like it. Just going to use my sponge and tap over everything so it meshes into my skin nicely. I'm going to quickly dip into my Lunatic Labs palette and just take a mixture of the yellow and the white and just clean up underneath my blush so that it's, I don't know, looks a little more structured. I feel like doing this little stuff just helps kind of tie it together for me. Um, I'm going to Quickly throw on my freckles and my highlights. I guess I'll just leave the camera on, why not? We'll just zoom right through this. I'm gonna use my Lottie London freckle tints. I don't know how ham I'm gonna go with the freckles today. I guess we'll just see when I feel like stopping. Freckles are another one. It makes people so bothered. <laughs> I don't understand why. Like, if you don't like it, just don't put it on your face. PSA, it's just makeup.
All right, so we are freckled up. For highlight, I want to go in with Solar Sailor from Kaleidos. I don't know why, I just really feel like using this shade today. I love this one. It's so pretty. It leaves the prettiest gold shift. Mm. I feel like it works nicely on my pale skin also. And I'm just going to quickly spray my face with my ColourPop Pretty Fresh setting spray and then I will zoom you in and we will get started. All right, we are close and personal. I'm priming my eye with my Smashbox Lid Primer in Lights. I'm gonna blend it out and not set it because I don't prefer to do that. I'm gonna start by taking Carousel. I'm gonna use this as kind of my crease shade. I'm just gonna take this fluffy brush and I want to tuck that right in my crease. And I'll just blend it as my brush has less product on it. <laughs> I'm gonna take it a little bit down here, just in the very outer corner. I have a vague vision of what I'm doing, but I'm also just gonna play around and have fun. What are you guys up to today? I'm filming. I'm gonna film another video after this, I think. And then I'm going to work. And then this evening, there's a food truck in our town that's gonna have like vegan junk food, I think is what the event was called. It's basically just like a vegan fried chicken sandwich kind of thing. And we don't have things like that in my town. We do have some vegan options, but nothing that cool. <laughs> so we're gonna do that. It's exciting. Something fun to do. And then tomorrow, no, tomorrow's Friday. Today's Thursday. The day after tomorrow's Saturday. This weekend is our bachelor bachelorette weekend. I'm excited. We'll already be back by the time this video goes up, but I'm excited. I'm actually just going to take any clean brush and I'm just going to, actually, you know what? I'm going to dip into Sunstone. Why not? I'm going to dip into my blush shade just to help blend this out. I know I was only going to use four on the eyes and one on the cheeks, but like, why not? Why not mix it up a little bit more? I'm going to take now Circus, this one right here. I'm just taking kind of this tapered blending brush. I like this kind of a brush for kind of packing on the lid and lightly blending into the crease. I feel like it does a decent job of that. And I want this to be focused on the outer half of my lid. Kind of, sort of, something like that. Just gonna make sure that edge flows into the pink nicely. And now I'm gonna take another kind of tapered brush and I'm gonna take Amethyst, that purple from the Fairy Blush palette. And this one I want to go in the front portion of that lid and kind of a little into the crease. Just kind of blending into the red, into the pink, so that this whole lid crease action is just kind of a merger of pinky, reddish, purpliness. That's my vision. I'm just gonna kind of go back and forth between the various brushes until I like how it's all flowing. I think it's gonna be cool. So far it's reminded me a lot of the um, Juvia's Place Fumi palette, actually. I didn't even intend on doing that, but apparently you can create most of this look with that Juvia's Fumi palette. There's a peach, there's a red, there's a pink, there's a purple. The only difference will be the turquoisey shade we add in a bit. I'm going to take the brush I used with the purple again and start placing some of that down here in the outer portion of my lower lash line. Just in the very outmost portion, just so that blue has something to blend into other than the pink, because sometimes Pinks and blues can muddy out because it's like a greenish blue and pink is a variation of red and I don't want to risk the complementary colors of red and green to merge together and create mud. I want to keep everything as bright and colorful as possible. All right, I'm going to take just this small brush now and I'm going to take aquamarine, that beautiful turquoisey color. I'm going to really pack this on the lower lash line. And it might look like I have to build these up a little bit, and again, it's because they are blushes. They're fine to use on the eye, but they are a blush, not an eyeshadow, so they aren't going to be as pigmented off the bat as probably your traditional eyeshadows that you're used to. But they work great. They do, they do the job. Ooh, look how cute that little pop is right there. I'm into that. Absol, were you lost? Come here, buddy. Absol, do you want to say hello? Oh, he's purring. You love me. I love you too. 
we'll cuddle when I'm done. I really like this. I know that that lid stuff all just kind of flows together, but I like that. I think it's cool. For my inner corner, I'm just going to bust into my face highlight, Solar Sailor. I don't need anything crazy in the inner corner, just enough to add a little pop of bright. Something simple. And then I'm actually gonna bust out a curveball. <laughs> I'm gonna use one more shade. I've actually at this point filmed and mostly edited my single shadow collection and declutter. That'll be up, I believe, next week as you're seeing this. Um, but in that, I just rediscovered this Glitterati shade from ColourPop, it's a Super Shock Shadow. And I just want to take a little bit of that and tap it. It looks like it's very silver, but when you just like press it onto the skin, it's just like a pretty kind of glittery shift. So I just want to like lightly tap some of this over top of what I did just to add a glittery wetness. Wow, look how pretty that is. I swear I feel like that actually brought out the colors a little bit more. <laughs> Call me crazy. But I feel like I can see more of that purple coming through now. Ooh, I think that's cute. I think that was a good idea. Something simple. Actually, I'm going to tap a little of it underneath. So why not? You already have all these glittery, I mean, these ethereal, colorful things going on. Why not add some glitter to the mix? Ooh, I like that. I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye now. Throw on my lashes, eye pencil, all that good stuff, and we will chat about those details when I get back. I almost said hello, friends. We're done. <laughs> all right, that's it. This was... This is my final look. I really like it. I really like that added Glitterati shade. I don't even know if this is still available. I keep everything in my description box, so if there's a link next to it, then it's available. If there's no link, then it's not available. I hope it's available, because that's beautiful. I'm totally gonna pull that out more. I might just keep this one on my filming desk. My eye pencil I went with is Fresh from LA Girl. I thought it would just go nicely with that lower lash line, and I think it does. Uh, my lashes are Mega Babe from Bold Face Makeup, and on my lips, I just went with this Pixie and Chloe Morello gloss in the shade parfait just something simple mostly clear a little bit of shimmer a little bit of pink it's cute i really like this look i feel like i did a good job kind of playing with all of these colors together i feel like i can really see the different tones i feel like that sparkle really made those other tones pop i don't know what it is but i don't know i feel very content with this what do you think do you like it do you hate it <laughs> hope you don't hate it i think it's cute out of these two palettes, I think my favorite one is the Fairy Blush. There's just something so special about it. Sunstone is such a beautiful blush. I love these tones to use as eyeshadows. This pink is a cute blush as well. The others could be blushes for more of an avant-garde kind of feel, but otherwise they're beautiful eyeshadows for me. I think the packaging of both of these are so cute. I like that this mirror says, hi pretty, right here. Like, that's just adorable. Clown Blush is just so unique. Came out around Halloween time, I think. So beautiful. This yellow blush made me fall in love with yellow blush and not be scared of it. I can't wait to see what else she comes out with this year. She also has lashes that are bomb. I love Anxious Angel. They're so pretty. And there are some other ones I really want to try. I tried Bat Wings. Those were pretty, but I didn't love them as much as some other lashes, just not for my eye shape. But Anxious Angel, stunning. I need another pair. Anyways, I would just love to hear your thoughts about the brand, this look, this video, all that jazz. If you made it to the end, I would like you to leave me either a clown or a fairy emoji, whichever one you prefer. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram. It's Beat Bean. Follow me there. I post every single day. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm posting most days here as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.